हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू ईटीपी नॉलेज जंक्शन दिस इज मी संजीत एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज वॉलेटाइल फैटी एसिड्स एंड एल्कनिटी सो लेट्स बिगिन एल्कनिटी एंड वीएफए इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट दैट गिव्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द हेल्थ ऑफ एन एनारोबिक डाइजेस्टर विद दिस टेस्ट we get to know the problems that may come in the near future whereas by the time the problem is detected with the ph imbalance it is too late in any well functioning anaerobic digester two groups of bacteria work together to degrade organic matter saprophytic bacteria or acidogens and methane formers or methanogens both groups of bacteria do different things but work for each other if there is loss of coordination then problems will start coming in the digester saprophytes they hydrolyze complex organic compounds and convert them into simple organic compounds actually these simple organic compounds are the waste products of saprophytes among these short chain fatty acids acetic acid propionic acid and butyric acid these acids are called volatile fatty acids because they have nature of volatility at atmospheric pressure as i mentioned earlier apart from the saprophytes There are also methanogens in the digester. Methanogens convert saprophytic waste that is fatty acids into methane and carbon dioxide. In a stabilized and well functioning digester, methanogens convert fatty acids to methane as rapidly as they produced by saprophytes. Let's once again quickly understand who works what and how there are two types of bacterial group found in digester saprophytes and methanogens saprophytes that is acid formers break down these complex organic molecules to form fatty acids and methanogens that is methane formers produce methane from these fatty acids hopefully by now you must have understood what are the bacteria in a digester and how do they operate a digester now we will understand how alkinity vfa works so before understanding this we have to know that what alkinity actually is so the alkinity or buffering capacity of a system is the ability of system solution to prevent the massive ph changes that is prevent the system from getting acidified as the saprophytes break down the complex molecules acids are released this leads to a decrease in the ph of the system and here the alkinity of the system maintains the system's ph at an optimum range so that methanogens can do their job properly The volatile acids produced by the saprophytes dissociate and release hydrogen ions and these free hydrogen ions gradually lowers the system's pH that is making the digester acidic but the alkinity of the system catch up these hydrogen ions and hand over to methanogens to maintain the pH if the system becomes imbalanced then the alkinity start dissipating gradually and the ph of the digester starts falling when the ph drops below 6.5 the methanogens are inhibited and the digester gets out of control means ph drops rapidly this is because the methanogens are not able to use volatile acid effectively and when the ph reaches 5 the saprophytes are inhibited and the digester becomes more acidic and then there is no any digestion process take place methanogens have a very narrow optimum range for ph 
and temperature and also they reproduce much more slowly than saprophytes although saprophytes and methanogens never compete with each other rather they work together but any situation that is favorable for saprophytes and not for methanogens lead the digester towards acidity by monitoring the relationship between vfa and alkalinity we can check whether vfa is increasing or alkalinity is decreasing ph monitoring is a very old way of monitoring the digester which is not quite right because a drop of 1 point in ph can disturb the alkalinity of the entire system and here then it will be difficult to bring the system back to normal because the change in vfa alkalinity relationship take place long before the change in ph the ratio of vfa alkalinity should be kept between 0.05 to 0.15 and if the ratio starts going outside the limit then understand there is going to be a big mess